Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series figure review. We're doing a double header this time because we just got the uh, the new two pack with three PO on the battle droid body and uh, the super battle droid, the B two. So pretty pretty excited about this one. Um, definitely the pack certainly has its flaws. <laughs> I think if it came with a simple battle droid head as well that you could swap out with the three PO, people would be all over it. But um, for for now, I think. You know, I'm just going to settle with one. We know that the uh, Super Battle Droid is coming out on its own at some point soon, uh, singularly. So I think I like, don't blame people for, for hanging on. But um, yeah, me and myself, just, I wanted to get this set. I've been eagerly anticipating the Battle Droid or the Super Battle Droid. And the 3PO, it's just a, it's just a little uh, fun gimmick to go along with. <laughs> I like it. I think it's a great, good part of the film, Attack of the Clones, as you can sort of see on the back there. Attack of the Clones, got the red, with a little bio there, a little, little bit of a write-up. Uh, so hopefully this means we're going to get C-3PO with a battle droid head at some point, and we can swap them out. I think that would be really cool if they did that. Um, you know, we've got a C-3PO mould, it's fine, you can just repaint it, give it that sort of rusty, dirty look. Um, but anyway, let's bust open this pack and take a look at these two figures, they look pretty good. All right, folks, here are the droids you're looking for. As always, I like to take a look at the packaging first. We go into accessories, then paint applications, articulation, and if need be, I like to do a peg test, mainly with the three and three quarter runs. The six inch are pretty solid. Um, it's not often we have an issue with pegs there, so it's generally three and three quarters that I like to. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it so far. Uh, always try to keep a steady stream of content each and every week. We're going to start off with looking at C-3PO. So yeah, we're basically getting a C-3PO head, slightly retooled to fit on this B-1 battle droid body. It does come with the uh, backpack here, which you know we've seen before. We've seen this Geonosian sort of coloured battle droid before as well. Um, this time, you know, he's a little bit dirtier, a little bit more weathering on him, which is cool does come with this blaster which does have that ability to peg up onto the back of the backpack there so there's a tiny little little notch in there so you can have it pegged in there if you choose i think i'll definitely be having it in his hand you know, die jedi dogs <laughs> i just love that i love that so much i laughed so much as a kid watching that it was just C-3PO just caught in the uh, absolute crap storm of battle. Barely had any idea what was going on. He's just going through mixed programming. <laughs> not, not sure what's happening. Yeah, it still, still makes me giggle to this day. So yeah, as for the head, you can sort of see, you know, it's sort of a... It's just sort of a grey, a grey mould. This sort of the photo real sort of paint style of eyes. And then sort of just a little bit of a green to sort of show the dirt. It's not it's not super weathered or anything on the head. Um, I feel like that could have had a little bit more detail on it. But in the, for the most part, it gets the point across. It's only because we're looking at it through, you know, a close-up lens here. Um, we're really sort of seeing that sort of just green sort of splodgy paint plastered over the head. So I might even be tempted to just, you know, get a, I've got some Citadel paints and some sort of rusty look. I might just go over the top of that. So as you can see, like, like the normal battle droid head, it's just tooled to have a bit of a different neck joint. Let's see, well, we'll pivot there. So, but yeah, as for the battle droid itself, I think the weathering's pretty nice on the battle droid. It's... You know, not dissimilar to what they've done with the head, but the, the colours sort of fit a little bit better. Plus there is sort of a few a few shiny bits of like silver that sort of scratch through. You can sort of see the joints. That sort of dirtiness runs down. Down the legs, onto the feet. And onto the backpack. And the Black Series has been a little bit, you know, funny sometimes. Or sometimes the front of the figure will get a nice pass over and then the back gets passed on. But this time... The whole back's gotten a wash too, which is nice. It's nice to sort of go see that go through the figure. It's not just Black Series. I know the three and three quarter scale occasionally gets those slightly missed paint apps on the back, but 
you know, as I said, if you're if you're posing your figures from the back, <laughs> that's that's on you. But yeah, that's cool. I'm looking forward to adding this one to my shelf, my Attack of the Clone shelf. Uh, articulation wise, he does have a little, little bit of a bit of a tough joint there, but there is that sort of neck joint like the battle droid has. His neck will sort of swivel. Swivel there. He's got a little ball hinge there in the shoulder. It swivels up and down. There's a hinge in the elbow, hinge in the wrist, a swivel in the hand as well. Same on this hand. There's a joint up here in the in the guts. You kind of just sort of see that. There's a ball on socket at the uh, hips there. There's a hinge joint there at the knee, hinge at the ankles, and yeah, a little bit of a just swivel there for the rocker. So not too bad. I'm, I'm liking it. I think it looks cool. So I guess now we'll take a look at the Super Battle Droid without trying to knock the camera over. Now this is nice. This is this is one been, I think most Black Series collectors have been looking for for looking forward to for a while. Um, yeah, I, th I believe the single packed one is just going to be a bit bit cleaner. This one's got some sort of Geonosis sand sort of thrown up over its guts and <laughs> in the hands there, but. Overall, the sculpt of this thing is pretty damn impressive. Um, it does have a little bit of that sort of plasticky look to some of the figure, but it's made out of plastic, so that makes complete sense. <laughs> um, but no, it does. It's not a bad thing at all. Um, all the sort of metallic highlights, the sort of darker bits. There's some, you know, this sort of darker gunmetal look. There's some wear, wear and tear, and you know, some lighter, lighter sort of silver sort of elements there's even the sort of a blue sort of alloy on the head there which looks cool so he looks nice yeah i, I don't know i pref kind of prefer maybe a clean one yeah you know, in this case it's kind of sand it's dust it's kind of it kind of looks all right um i'm not gonna get too upset about it because it's it is what it is and again, like they've done it on the back. There's a bit of a blast effect there. So. I'm just sort of, this is really just the first time I'm sort of having a look and playing with it as well, just to sort of get a, get a nice feel for how it moves and how it looks. Yeah, no other accessories. Just because this guy's got guns. He is guns. So we'll take a look at that. So that's kind of cool. So the other cool thing is the head will actually pop up and off. And if you look at that, it's almost the same shape as a B1 battle droid head. So it's got that sort of similar sort of nose. You can kind of just see the sort of visualizer slits there in regards to the head. Remember that just... I remember just having that pointed out to me one time, like, years ago, and I was just like, wow, it was like that the whole time. <laughs> so there we get the, uh, get a little bit of a look at the machinery underneath, and then this chest plate also comes off, which is really, really cool. So you get a look at the, uh, the internal organs of the B2 battle droid. So if you want, you can get your, get your Clone Wars Mace Windu, and have him beating the living piss out of these things. <laughs> Which is, let's be honest, one of the best parts of Star Wars ever is when Mace Windu just, you know, lightsaber down and they just punch, punch the living crap out of a bunch of super battle droids and send them flying. But yeah, some nice detail in there. I think that looks cool. It's sort of in that sort of metallic, metallic color. So that's good. And yeah, that's simply the inside there. Some nice details. They didn't need to be, but it just sort of pegs in on the side, locks in, and again, the sort of head has got a little peg on top, so that can sort of just lock down, 
No, it just sort of sits over over the top of the chest. Looking pretty good. So yeah, articulation wise, you know, if you want to call that a little bit of movement there in the head, probably not. Um, this seems to be ball and socket joint up there in his shoulders. So you get a fair range of movement there. I think that's probably what it needs. Uh, there is a hinge, well, there is a swivel with the forearm there, with the tricep. And then there's like that circular hinge. There is another swivel there on the inside of the arm. There is a hinge there at the wrist, and that will turn as well. You get a little bit of a swivel there. So that's, that's good articulation, considering. Yeah, same on this arm. There's an upper torso joint there, as you can see. Ball and sockets in the hips as well. And they do have a bit of a thigh joint there, so that's cool. There is a hinge in the knee, which gets a good bend on it. That's for a little bit of movement, a little bit of a twist there. Uh, down to the ankles, there is a hinge joint and a joint there for the rocker in the ankles. But then, yeah, you can pose them up and you can bet your bottom dollar we'll be seeing this, this, this super battle droid for, for some years to come. There'll be some Jedi Survivor repaints. Some Jedi Fallen Order repaints. There'll be some tweaks to this guy. Training training Super Battle Droid. We've seen all sorts of different stuff from like Battlefront and, and stuff like that. But for now, I'm just happy to have this guy. I'd love to see love to see, yeah, just a plain standard one come out. And then have Dooku sort of flanked by a couple of these guys. Yeah, I'm looking. Look at this guy. It's nice to have both of these figures in the collection now. I'm looking forward to them. I like. I'm liking the idea of the two packs. I think just that you know that extra head of thought. No pun intended for the for the battle droid here would have been great. But um, you know if they're able to retool a C3PO and put him out with the battle droid head, with you know I don't know maybe. Maybe a, another an put Anakin out again, you know, do a do a two pack that way, and then be able to switch them out. But at the end of the day, this one should have probably come with a battle droid, and that would have kept the army builders happy. You know, when it comes to Black Series, you know, I'm I'm happy just to have a couple. I've already got a couple of Geonosis battle droids. They take up enough room. Yeah, a little bit tricky, a little bit tricky to stand up just because I'm where I am, but they're okay. Anyway, folks, thank you for checking out this video. I appreciate you hanging around. It was nice to get a double whammy out there. This is the first of the two packs that I've been able to get. Um, the 501st 332nd clone pack isn't slated until May, so another bit over a month. Um, there's the Mace Windu and his battalion clone trooper, which I think is also slated for about May or June here in Australia. I'm not sure. Um, I know they've started to hit the US from Hasbro Pulse, um, and I think this one's hitting as well. Um, so yes, definitely keep an eye on your on your chosen outlets for sourcing these action figures. Um, yeah, appreciate you all hanging out again. Like I said, um, yeah, may the force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.